Randall, you were talking the other night about your music and how you use that as a release from basketball. Just how often do you do that in a, in a given week or whatever? Just go play it to get away from it. Um, not only music, but just church. You know, try to get away from basketball. Uh, definitely a religious person, so try to go to church at least two to three times a week. Uh, just get my mind off basketball. Uh, and then with the music thing, you know, I try to go at least once a week. Just play the drums, you know, have a little fun outside of basketball. How does that fit in with your schedule? You've got so much stuff going on here. Is it difficult to make sure you, you make the time for that part of your life? Too? Yeah, but, uh, you know, at nighttime, you, if I don't have a tutor, you know, my schedule's pretty free. So that's 7, o seven o'clock on range. I, I'm, I'm usually pretty good. EJ said that practice had been pretty hard the last couple of days. Would you agree with that? Yeah, these have definitely been some of the hardest practices I've ever had in my life. Uh, just come in, start with wall sits, defensive slides. You know, I think uh, the intensity's definitely uh, picked up uh, these past couple of weeks, and I think that that'll start to translate to the game. I think we'll get uh, a lot better. You think it's kind of restoked Gerald's competitive fire a little bit? I'm sorry. Do you think it's kind of restoked Gerald's competitive fire a little bit? Yeah, a lot of the drills are actually really competitive where we're going uh, at each other. Uh, the losers on the treadmill, things like that. So I think that's you know that's going to help us a lot. Have you ended up on the treadmill yet? Yeah, not for a competitive drill, but if we even do something wrong, you know, sometimes we go on the treadmill, and I had to get on, uh, I think, one or two times, so I'm trying not to get on there. What's that experience like? Um, <laughs> it's just running. I don't know. You just get on the treadmill and put it as high as they want, and you just run it. How fast is it going? Uh, mine was going 11, I'm pretty sure, 11 for about 30 seconds. Were you surprised at all, you know, it's Kentucky and all the fancy stuff that you guys are exposed to, and yet here you are doing slide drills and wall sits like it's middle school basketball? Uh, yeah, well, basketball is always back to the basics, you know, uh, whether it's, you know, taking a charge out on the floor. Uh, the little stuff is how you win games, and, and I think we kind of got away from it, and now we're just trying to get back to that. How badly did you guys win, need that win the other night, just the dominating win? Uh, we know it's a long season, so we never really got too, you know, up or two down. Uh, but, you know, I think that was a good win for us. You know, any win's a good win for you. Uh, but uh, we're just trying to get better each and every day, starting in practice, and then it translates to the game. How would you compare the way you guys defended in the last game with the earlier games? Uh, I thought it was really good. I thought our energy and effort was there, you know, from the jump. And then uh, definitely, you know, towards the end of the game, we picked it up even more, and we didn't let our foot off the, off the gas. So. I think that was good for us. And how, how much harder is it to defend deeper into the shot clock? You know what I'm saying? Yep. If the other team's still throwing passes and so on 25 seconds into the clock. I think it's, it's definitely tough, especially teams know we want to play fast and play up and down. So they're going to try to hold the ball as, as long as they can and try to get into our legs. But I think this team is doing a really good job, you know, staying locked in and, and just uh, fighting through that fatigue and getting stops.